I will begin this video by saying that if it is time to bury your guns, it is time to dig them up. We're definitely living in an odd time, and with many of your friends, neighbors, and family willing to give up some of their basic freedoms for a false sense of security, it's kind of gotten me to thinking about putting some things in the ground. Now, it's not time to put on the tin pool hats yet, but this past weekend, I recently tried to go from Tennessee into North Carolina and was met by a roadblock. The Graham County Sheriff's Office was sitting there, and if you didn't have North Carolina identification, you were turned around. So the first time in my 38 years, I wasn't allowed to travel from state to state. And that struck me as odd. It kind of alerted me. And then today, I came across the perfect thing that fed my mild paranoia. <laughs> right here, man. This is an awesome canister that I found at a surplus store. This is the 155 millimeter howitzer. These are the charges. That's the be the, the gunpowder for the cannon. Well, anyway, this is what they store that in. And a little bit of a Google search says that that 155 millimeter howitzer has an effective range of 16,000 yards. That's a dat gun lot of gunpowder. <laughs> but check out that lid, man. Let's go ahead and get this thing over on the tailgate so you can look at it. And then, of course, I'm going to show you where I put it in the ground. And we're going to load this thing up with some uh, paranoia goodies. All right. What sold me on this thing is this lid. This is neat. There's a big screw in here that attaches to this triangle with locking lugs. And those locking lugs fit right here into the side. And basically what you do is you give it a twist. Everything lets go. And you can get this very solid lid that has a nice rubber seal. And of course, the military was using this to store gunpowder. So that would seal off real nice, keep the contents nice and dry. So now, you guys are dying to figure out what all we can stick in there boom dang we found the bottom finally but right there i suggest probably about 28 and a half inches because this lid protrudes in just a little bit so we can guarantee we have 28 and a half inches of depth that is usable and as for our diameter get that to focus that is six and three quarters of an inch in the camera. It looks like seven, but definitely a six and three quarters. So six and three quarters in diameter by 28. Imagine all the bug out supplies you can stick in that. But now we're going to go over and show the installation in the dirt. But first, what I have to do is give a shout out to a buddy of mine. He's a fellow YouTuber, Alpha Romeo 15. He decided to send me this really cool tax stamp. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Tell him Pat sent you. Super thanks, Adam. All right, guys. This thing is definitely hefty, large in charge, and built nicely. So when they drew this up, you can see right there is a drain hole for these ribs. So if they stood up, rainwater would drain out of these ribs. They also did that in the top. There's a few little drain holes around this rim. But what I figured would be the Achilles heel to actually getting any longevity out of this thing in the ground is the lid. This is perfectly shaped like a bowl. So if this is pointing to the sky, this is gonna stay full of water. So the first thing that's gonna do is rust out right there in these little spot welds around that flange and then just water will come in on all your bug out supplies, guns, whatever else you have in there. So what I decided to do, instead of placing this to the sky, is go ahead and or orient this horizontally in the bank. So let me show you the final installation here. Okay guys, so what I found was a little dirt mound right here in the side of this bank. I just took a 40 caliber Glock and one shot and it blew all the dirt out you nine millimeter guys are gonna to have to get a shovel. I'm sorry, it's just facts. But right here you have the final installation. I took some leaves, threw them back on top of it to disguise the fresh dirt. 
and basically what I'll do to cover this, there is an old scrap of carpet laying over there that is really old and it, it just fits. So I'm gonna lay that scrap of carpet right over the top of this. This thing will disappear and just be gone. But now, so easy to get into. Freaking awesome lid. Got me a water bottle. There's some eating utensils inside there. Pack this dude out. Got that Glock 23 that I use for my dirt removal. Whole bag of hollow points. And then just a little cheapy bag to shove everything in and take off. So of course, once you've loaded that thing up, this isn't the final loadout, but once you load that thing up, then all you do, put it right back on there, cover her up, and you are gone. Nice little place to have you a little cachet. I've got me another one. So boom, I have two of these things, and I am gonna wind up running around and putting me another one in. So strategically placed, I'll have another one buried, and I'll have plenty of places to hide my stuff. All right, guys, so I guess now it is time to try to find these in surplus. I found these locally for $12.95 a piece. That was a daggum bargain. I bet you can't even ship them for $12.95 a piece. But as for what they will hold, I have broken down an AR-15 upper and lower and fit both a 16-inch upper with an optic and a lower inside here with a few magazines. I have fit that backpack, some ammo, a Glock, a little mess kit, a canteen, a few other things. There is quite a bit of space in here. I think it come out to, I forget the numbers, it was roughly a thousand cubic inches. So this thing has got plenty of room to stick some stuff. And uh, at, at my case, it was a very affordable price. $12.95, you can't beat it. Now, as for alternative installations, I deliberately brought this one away from the house. But if you were so inclined to put it in your house, this would work out really good in your attic. Put it in your joists, throw insulation back over the top of it, they'll never find it. As for underneath your house in the crawl space, all of your floor joists all run parallel. So you'll have a, a 2 by 8 or a 2 by 10 and then a 2 by 8 2 by 10 they'll be 16 or 24 inches apart. You could put you some webbing and strap this thing to the floor of your house. So if you were to ever get uh, broken into or an, an unconstitutional search, they'd never find it. They'd be nice and tucked up up against your floorboard, airtight, watertight ready to rock when you need it but if you've enjoyed the video please consider subscribing hit that bell share this with your friends but the most important thing is i hope you guys stay safe stay sane stay healthy and have a wonderful day we'll see you next video i know you guys are wondering you can stick a dang lot of toilet paper in this thing